received the Raspberry Pi 5 4 GB RAM version after buying it online. These are the things inside. There is a Raspberry Pi 5 user guide and uh, the actual board is there and another instruction leaflet over there. I had to go through each one of these in detail. I have just opened that uh, manual instruction guide which is there in multiple languages. I will check out which all the languages are there but I won't need any of them. I will need only English language. I don't think my local language will be available. These two are uh, two sets of USB port. USB uh, 3.0 and USB 2.0 and uh, this is an Ethernet or LAN port. Here you have the HDMI ports. These two are HDMI ports but they are micro HDMI ports. So you will need an adapter to connect to your usual HDMI port and this is USB type C port. We can also give power through that. Incidentally, I had plugged in my USB port, a USB plug uh, to see whether it fits in. Then an LED got lit up here. I'll show you. After connecting the USB, there's an LED which has been lit up here. The color is now red. In between, it had changed to green also. I'll have to learn the functions of all those things soon. The main processor you can see here and the Raspberry Pi logo also is seen here. There are several types of pins over here. Uh, this hole here, there are four of them. That is uh, for attaching a spacer. Suppose you want to attach a hat, hardware attached on top. So as if you want to attach a NVMe hard disk, then you need a hat. That hat will be connected here on top of this. So that uh, spacers are needed for these holes will be for that. While holding the board you have to hold the board sideways. You are not supposed to touch on the chips. Chips are sensitive to static discharges. So we should not be touching any of the chips.